ready to go fishing. So we're out here trying again. It's a week later, a little bit more than a week later, and the water's warmed up a bit more. The bass has started to come into spawn, so a uh, real tricky thing tonight for us as we uh, troll close to shoreline will be to not pick up uh, a whole pile of bass while trying to get some pickerel. We'll, uh, we'll see how we fare. Uh, just a little fun tonight. A little pickerel. Let's see if I can let it get the hooks out, let them go. Way too small to keep. First one of the night. sure if you can see this but we're looking at a lot of shad flies on the water tonight which probably means the fish are going to be filling up on them instead of what we're trying to give them. It doesn't look hopeful but uh, we'll give it a try anyway. Shad flies is definitely one of the banes of the fishermen. They uh, come out strong and the fish love them. Starting the action early tonight with a little bass. Get it? Here we are, got a nice uh, nice pickerel under the slot size that Sam is just trying to get undone. A little dark, we tried to get some footage of the pickerel coming into the boat, but definitely a little too dark for our camera. As you can see, maybe. Once we uh, get the pickerel out of the way, Sam switched to a, a deeper lure here. We're, uh, we've moved out of the shallows into deeper water, uh, trying to find the pickerel. They've, uh, they've moved out of the shallow bays, or at least most of them have, and we haven't had a whole lot of luck in there, so we're, we're into deeper water and, and uh, using something that's going to go down a, a little deeper for us. Overall, Sam, nice fish. Very nice fish. You can see the glint in his eye. Uh, they catch a lot of light. They, uh, they are a, a nocturnal feeder. Uh, getting close to, to uh, dusk, they, they really start to get active and feed. And uh, usually when you're bringing in a, a fish when it's dark and you're using a light, uh, if you see a glint in the, in the fish's eye, it's usually a pickerel. Stay tuned for more fish tomography, but first we'd like to thank this episode's sponsors. Located in the south arm of Lake Tomogamy, Tamar provides accommodations for fishing and family gatherings of all sizes. Enjoy cottages on an island paradise with bountiful trout fishing and cross lake close by, or explore all of the lake on one of Tamar's houseboats. Welcome to Martin River, home of the Rock Pine Motel and Restaurant. The Rock Pine provides a great start to your adventures on prime ATV and snowmobile trails. Come enjoy a delicious home-cooked meal in our restaurant overlooking the water after a day of fishing, riding, or travel. Oh, we just had our first hit. Sam caught into ooh, a little, little smallmouth. Very little smallmouth. Congratulations, Sam. Thank you. Sam hooked into his second fish of the night. A 
There he is. Wow. Running. Getting up a good fight. So it feels really nice. Really nice. Staying deep. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a pickle. Yeah. Look at the beautiful coloring on this fish. Beautiful golden coloring. I mean, these things are just just awesome to see coming up alongside the boat and when they flip on their side, uh, you know, it just wants you just want to take your breath away uh, every time you see it. Just a beautiful, beautiful fish. When you're biting into a nice fillet of pickerel, you don't want to be eating bone. So let's take a look at how to debone a pickerel. It's quite easy, much similar, very similar to bass. All you have to do is run your finger along above where the rib cage would have ended, right under this thick, thick part of meat here. You'll see it in the fillet. There's a thick piece, and here's where the rib cage would be, and this is where the bone would be. So as you have your fillet down, run your finger along, find that bone line, and then take your knife, put it just above where those bones are, and cut straight down. And just cut straight down. There's only a single row of bones in, so you only have to re remove a very, very small piece of meat to get all the bones out of a pickerel. Once you've cut through the top, you should find that the bones end where about the rib cage would end. Come down to the bottom piece here, and once again, cut straight down just under that bone line. and then cut it out. Take out a very small piece of meat. Now you're left with a nice boneless piece of meat. You'll find that it can be hard to cook a fillet of fish when it's got a big strip out of it. So what I often do is take and cut the tail part off and make three pieces of meat out of it that will cook up very nicely. Now you have boneless pickerel.